uh, the BC government has announced uh, 21 places they're going to recognize uh, for Chinese Canadian history. So I was involved in the selection uh, of uh, uh, the places to put forward. This time last year, we received 138 nominations, representing 77 places for consideration. It is a testament to the importance of Chinese legacy in British Columbia that so many sites came to mind for British Columbians from all corners of the province. And I know it was no easy task to evaluate the nominations received. I would like to thank Heritage BC for their dedication to administering the nomination process. And thank you to the evaluation team comprised of members of the Legacy Initial Advisory Council and the Chinese Canadian Historical Society of BC. Being part of the Chinese Canadian Historical Society, we're involved in the selection process to select the 21 places of significance here in the province of BC. It came out of a public nomination process. It came from British Columbians taking the time to write down, this is an important place to me or to the community I live in. And that, I think, is we shouldn't forget because we've recognized 21, but the process was a public nomination process where people came forward and over a hundred places were nominated. And, and uh, the Chinese Canadian Historical Society, I will, I will thank them as well as Heritage BC for doing the work of going through and, and really making hard decisions. Um, I will also say that some of these sites are really distinctive because of their showing of history of relationships between First Nations and Chinese. That's why we're here. You know, the site up in Lytton, you know, where Lytton First Nation nominated the Gold Rush sites, the Chinese mind along the Fraser. A lot of other sites were cemeteries. Some of the last traces of Chinese in those towns are the graves. Because the Chinese moved on, moved to Vancouver, moved to Victoria, the descendants aren't there anymore. But we remember their presence, the history, the legacy by the graves they left. And the Fulon Kong building, the uh, Templeton building, was recognized as part of the 77 uh, places in BC. So now they narrowed it down to 21 places.